Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So recently I made a video um, about Auckland suburbs. So today I thought it'd only be fair if I made another one on Wellington. Um, I do want to preface this video by saying that I'm by no means a real estate expert, nor am I an expert on Wellington either, but I feel like there's not really any videos out here on the internet, <laughs> on YouTube, talking about like renting or housing in Wellington. I know that I would have found something like this quite helpful when I was moving down so yeah hopefully this video helps you guys out so basically I'm just going to talk about um some various suburbs talk about how much I'm going to pay for rent so the Wellington region is actually quite large um compared to the city itself and I actually knew someone at my work who lived in Featherston um so that looks like really far away on this map but it's I think it's about an hour train ride which isn't terrible but I'm just going to start off talking about Upper Hutt which is probably the furthest away that I'd, I would like recommend living um, if you are coming to Wellington. So the rent prices that I'm giving are gonna be an average weekly rent um, because in New Zealand you normally pay rent every week um, for a three bedroom unfurnished house. So since it is an average, obviously you can probably find something for cheaper. You can also find something for more expensive, but yeah, this is the average in New Zealand dollars. For Upper Hutt, you can expect to pay about $530 a week. So this is pretty much on the the cheap end and I mean it looks pretty far away like it's about a 45 minute train ride to get into the city. Um, so I'd say if you don't really need to be close to the city or you don't mind having a longer commute then Upper Hutt could be a good option like especially if you want to save some money. Um, and then you've also got Lower Hutt so that's a bit closer. Um, However, you are going to be paying a bit more. Lower Hutt is a pretty popular area, actually. Um, in fact, it's only about a 20-minute train ride, so it's very close to the city. And you're going to pay about $620 for a three-bedroom in Hutt Central. So next, um, going back, you've got Porirua. So Porirua, depending on the suburb, the price can change. But um, for a three-bedroom in Titahi Bay, you're going to pay about $530 a week. Um, and then coming down a bit, you've got Tawa. So when I was in Wellington, my manager actually lived in Tawa and she seemed to love it. So I feel like it's a pretty nice place. It's probably like quite residential. Um, I heard there's a lot of like white people. So um, I think that's a good sign. But yeah, so you'll pay about $600 for a free bedroom. And then coming down a bit, you've got Johnsonville and the Newland. So again, I knew people... That were staying here um, I think they wanted to like save a bit of money and still be relatively close to town so a three bedroom is 600 and then coming down you've got Kandala um, I knew a girl staying here she seemed to enjoy it I'm pretty sure they have like really nice sea views as well um, so yeah $600 again for Kandala and then coming down here um, to the west side of the city you've got Karori. A three bedroom here was about $600. Um, again I heard this is a pretty nice suburb. It is a little bit farther out from the city but you've got like a ton of nature and you know mountain biking, hiking if that's what you're into. And then coming a little bit further inward there's Calvin and Aro Valley. So as you guys can see this is pretty close to Vic Uni so there's a lot of students here um, and it's also pretty close to the city as well so it's quite convenient. Um, so a three bedroom is about $780. And then coming a bit further south of the city, you've got Island Bay. So a three bedroom in Island Bay is going to be about $700. Um, I actually visited this area and it, it seemed really nice. Honestly, like all the houses, they seem to have a lot of character and you've got, obviously you've got quite a nice beach as well. So I think it's a pretty good area. Um, the only downside, I guess it's a little bit further out from the city. And then going up a bit, you've got, um, Brooklyn. Again, pretty nice suburb, very like residential, a lot of families. You're going to pay about $700 for a three bedroom, but it's not too far away from the city. But I feel like because it's a lot of, um, you know, hills and that kind of thing, like if you don't have a car, it's probably going to be a bit tough. So I don't know if I would recommend staying here. And then on the east side, you've got Murma. So my the GM where I was working, so like the general manager, higher up dude lived here so <laughs> I, I assume that there's some very nice places here um and this is also where like the weather workshop is so if you are working like in the film industry then it's probably a good location and there's also some very nice beaches here as well so a three bedroom on average is 685 dollars um and then coming closer in to the inner suburbs you've got newtown so newtown is where um the hospital is so if you're working near there then it might be a good option um it's also like pretty artsy you've got you know, a bunch of nice food spots, 
bars, etc. Again, a three bedroom is going to be seven hundred dollars. Um, and then going up here, you've got Mount Vic and kind of Oriental Bay area. Now, in my opinion, like if I was to move back down to Wellington, I think this is where I would stay. The three bedroom is gonna be $820. So that's pretty much the most expensive um, or one of the most expensive kind of areas in Wellington. But I think this is like the best location because you're so close to the city and you're close to Oriental Bay and the waterfront area, but it's also far enough out that it's not gonna be super loud and you know, it's still like a good place to live <laughs> if you would just want some peace and quiet and you don't want like, you know, a ton of like people around all the time. Um, and then finally, I'm just going to talk about Thorndon um, and the kind of like Wadestown area. So this again is $820 for a three bedroom. This is like a very uh, close area to um, town, to like all the government offices. I feel like a lot of people that work in the public sector would live here. You've got like a lot of embassies and a lot of, yeah, just like ministries and that kind of thing. So you're very close, but it's also, you know, a relatively nice suburb and residential. So yeah, I think that's kind of why the prices are so high. So I'll just talk about where I live. So I actually lived in a hostel called Hotel Waterloo the entire time I was in Wellington. Um, and I mean, it was all right, but I feel like it was really, really loud because there was like a main highway here. So that wasn't ideal. However, it was really close to everything, which is convenient. So I'd say if you are like just going to Wellington um, or just landing there and you don't have any accommodation then I would say it's an alright place just like for temporary stay um, but yeah that's pretty much it for this video hopefully it was a little bit helpful gave you a better idea of some of the suburbs where you can stay and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys